by Taylor. It is a 214 CE. It's a cutaway, small body acoustic guitar with built-in pickup. Um, this is kind of a bread and butter guitar for the industry. We'll talk about the features on it first, and it's just got a straight up built-in pickup. Uh, the pickup is functional, no built-in tuner, however, so do keep that in mind. Um, this guitar is got a fixed set neck, and I do want to mention on the build that this guitar was made, if you can see that there, it was made in Mexico. Keep in mind that the older version 214s were made in the USA. So if you find a good deal on one of those, you might want to pick up the older version instead. Now, if you look at the construction on this one, this one is rosewood back and sides and a solid spruce top. Um, pretty good quality. Certainly something that every gigging musician could be respected up on stage with, but does it hold its own against a higher grade Gibson acoustic, which we will look at next. The guy second up on the review is a higher grade guitar, no question about it. This is a Gibson Cascade, which again is a very similar size to the Taylor, a small body cutaway acoustic with a built-in pickup. However, this pickup does feature a built-in tuner and it is extremely accurate. Uh, this tuner does a great job tuning. We compared it to our Floor Bose, which is kind of an industry standard tuner, and this is spot on. Uh, now let's talk about the build quality. This Gibson is made with a much higher end of, um, features. You would expect that from a guitar that retailed for over $2,000, so twice as much as the $1,000 Taylor. Got a solid spruce top, beautiful finish on it. It's got a solid rosewood back and sides with gorgeous trim, beautiful abalone inlays, fairly basic dots, excellent Gibson tuners. If you can see that there, these Gibson tuners are fantastic, hold tuning extremely well. Um, really nice setup. Beautiful look on stage, and of course that Gibson brand, which we all know, is recognized probably as much as any other brand in the industry. So, this shootout is kind of unfair, but we want to get an idea, is the Gibson worth twice as much as the Taylor? So, without further ado, we're going to introduce Josh. He's going to run these two guitars through their patterns. We'll look at blues. We'll look at rock and we'll also do it unplugged and plugged in so you can get a straight up evaluation of this guitar. How does it perform? Hi guys, this is Josh from Music Gear Shootout and first we're going to start with a little blues riff on the Taylor 214. <laughs> in Cascade. Check 
out some open chords and some basic strumming on the guitars to see what they sound like that way. Uh, so we'll start off with the Gibson Cascade. Got a real nice sustain open. I like that with open chords. And then if we were doing some bar chords with it. You know, with the bar chords, I'm not crazy about it, but open chord stuff. Got a nice sustain. I love the Gibson. Okay, now we'll try the table with some open chords, just to get a feel for what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah, I like this one too. It's got a nice bright tone, just like you'd expect from a Taylor. Um, sustain, maybe not quite as much as the Gibson, but pretty good. Let's see what the bar chords sound like. Okay, obviously the acoustics aren't really for bar chords. But let's try a song with some open chordings. Okay. Alright, Josh. So, uh, we'll give our kind of final takes to wrap up the the video uh, comparing the $2,000 Gibson Cascade to the $1,000 Taylor 214. What's your initial thoughts? Initially, I was sold on the Taylor for the price point compared to the Gibson, nearly half, if not less. Yeah. They're very bright. I think they sound really good for the chords. But actually, after playing this video, I almost sold myself to the Gibson. Especially when you plug it into an amp, I think the pickup really stands out versus the Taylor. I have to in. agree. I have to agree. The pickup on that is definitely superior. Now, for an extra thousand bucks, you better, Gibson, you better have a better pickup, right? For sure. Uh, but be honest, if you're a gigging musician you need an acoustic for stage, you can't beat a 214 CE. I mean, things light, comfortable, got good tone, rings out bright, uh, maybe a church setting or playing in kind of a small gig. This baby will work. And it's built really well, um, but I think if we were going to compare, obviously the two thousand plus dollar Gibson Cascade, his got some features this one doesn't. So let's wrap up with uh, again for Music Gear Shootout. This is Matt and Josh, and we'll see you next time around. Mm -hmm.